let us study the exact meaning of statistics. Statistics means the collection of numerical data and its analysis in large quantities. Example, number of men and females in a society. Calculations regarding number of men and women in a society of 10 to 12 buildings or how many of them belong to Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, etc. comprises of a large data. Putting such a large number of people in different categories is a huge calculation. This is what statistics is all about. Now coming to a few related terms. First, what is meant by raw data? Raw data means numerical information collected for a specific purpose. For example, 1. The height in centimeter of 10 children in a class is as given below. 135, 131, 140, 142, 138, 141, 145, 144, 139, 140. These numbers together is called raw data. Example 2. In a class test of Marathi, each of 20 children scored the following marks. Out of 30, 20, 21, 19, 18, 17, 19, 22, 24, 25, 18, 10, 11, 17, 25, 12, 18, 22, 23, 16, 20. That is what raw data is all about. Each number in this raw data is called a score. Example, single number 20 is a score. Single number 10 is also a score. After collecting information or raw data, we use this information for various purposes. To draw any inference from this information, arrange this given data in a systematic manner. It will be easier to draw a conclusion. This arrangement of raw data in a systematic manner is called frequency table. Here the term frequency stands for the number of times a score occurs and it is denoted by the letter N. Before preparing frequency table for larger number of scores, you have to understand the term tally marks. 1. Tally marks are small vertical lines in the frequency table. 2. Each vertical line stands for a score. 3. They are put into groups of 5. 4. After making 4 tally marks, 5th is marked across them as shown 5 vertical lines on the screen. 5. For score 6, draw group of 5 lines, then draw another vertical line next to this group. Similarly, for score 10, we draw 2 groups of 5 as tally mark. Now let us see how to make a frequency table. Example. The digits obtained each time on the topmost surface on throwing a dice, 36 times are given below. 1, 6, 2, 1, 4, 5, 3, 2, 4, 5, 2, 4, 4, 6, 5, 3, 1, 2, 5, 4, 2, 1, 3, 3, 6, 5, 5, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 5, 6. Observe the scores. The lowest score is 1. The highest score is 6. All other scores are between 1 and 6. Draw three columns. First column should contain digits which occur in the raw data, that is, scores. It can be number of children, number of families, monthly wages of employees, 
number of digits on the top of dice as given in the example, etc. 2. In the second column, draw the appropriate tally marks. Example, if the first column has score 5, then the tally marks column should contain 5 vertical lines. 3. In third column, write the appropriate frequency, that is, how many times the score occurs. Always go stepwise after observing the scores. The first score is 1. Read it and cross it out so that it will not be read again. At the same time, place a small vertical line in the second column in front of 1. The next score is 6. Cross it out and place a tally mark in front of 6 in the second column. Enter every score into the table in this way. When all the scores have been read and entered by tally marks, write the number of scores in the frequency column. For example, two vertical lines means two. Now, let us draw one more frequency table. A person surveyed 10 families in his neighborhood. The number of children in each family he surveyed is as shown on the screen. From the given data, let us prepare a frequency table. We should first check the lowest and the highest score. The lowest score is equal to 0. The highest score is equal to 4. Therefore, all scores are between 0 and 4. The number of times each score occurs is the frequency of that score. Example, 0 occurs only once. 1 occurs twice and so on. Hence, frequency of 0 is equal to 1. Frequency of 1 is equal to 2. Frequency of 2 is equal to 4. Frequency of 3 is equal to 2. Frequency of 4 is equal to 1, corresponding to. Then find the total frequency by adding all the frequency together. See the table on the screen. The mean. We shall learn how to calculate the average scores. Average in statistics is called mean. It is denoted by the symbol X bar. Let us consider the example as shown on the screen. Let us take the number of children in the family as the first column. Second column is equal to frequency is equal to F. Third column is equal to X into F. That is, families with zero children is equal to 1. Therefore, number of children in them is equal to 0 into 1, which is equal to 0. Families with one child is equal to 2. Therefore, number of children in them is equal to 1 into 2 is equal to 2. Families with two children is equal to four. Therefore, number of children in them is equal to two into four is equal to eight. Families with three children is equal to two. Therefore, number of children in them is equal to three into two is equal to six. Five. Families with four children is equal to one. Therefore, Number of children in them is equal to 4 into 1 is equal to 4. Now, how do we find the total number of children in 10 families? Sum of the number in X into F column is equal to total number of children in 10 families. To calculate mean, use the formula. Mean or X bar is equal to sum of x into f upon n. That is, x bar is equal to sum of x into f upon n, where n is equal to total of frequency column. Therefore, x bar is equal to 20 upon 10. Therefore, mean is equal to 2. Let us solve another example. Example 2. The daily electricity consumption of an office on each day in the month of September 
is given in the table on the screen. Calculate the daily average electricity consumption of the office. In the first column, we write all the units range from 5 units to 30 units and this is taken as X. In the second column, we write the number of days these units are used, that is, frequency. We mark it as F. 5 units were used on 4 days. Third column, we take as X into F. Similarly, we calculate the entire X into F and find N, which is total of all frequencies column. Then, we find the total of X into F column. Using the given formula, we calculate the mean as X bar is equal to sum of X into F upon N. We get X bar is equal to 525 upon 30 is equal to 17.5 units.